to my new series, All About Wood. In this series, I'll be talking about the way wood reacts to different uh, environments, the way it rots, the way it behaves, how long it lasts, how it cracks, and all of those things you need to know before you commission a sculpture. So behind me I've got a piece of uh, artwork that I did a while ago. You can see how the sun has bleached it. It's gone grey in most areas. Uh, there's very little colour left in it. That's just the natural process of the wood and it's interesting to see how it ages. I think it looks beautiful as time passes. But I'm going to show you a couple of things now about the way wood degrades. Most people um, ask me when they get a sculpture how long will it last? And that is a very, very open-ended question. It's actually a question without a, a very specific answer. So here's more about it. So here we have the edge of a huge piece of wood. It's a piece of cedar. Now I'm going to show you the difference between the heartwood and the sapwood. So this section here is the heartwood. Uh, as you can see here, it's a much lighter color than the edge of the wood here. So between here and here is what we call the sapwood. That was the last bit of the tree that was growing before it, it died. The, the sapwood on this has begun to degrade already. This tree had died in an upright position and over time the sapwood has begun to rot. And you can see closer up here, you can see the, uh, the fibrousness of the wood there compared to the the solidity and uh, the smoothness of the wood there. That fibrous wood indicates what we call a white rot. So we have to imagine wood as if it's made up like reinforced concrete. So there's two main parts to the wood and the physiology of wood. So you have something called the lignin and this is effectively like the concrete in reinforced concrete. That provides the, the, the strength and the rigidity in, in the wood. The other side of the wood is called cellulose. Cellulose, uh, as you can probably tell by the name, is the flexible fibres that you find within the structure of the timber. Now, just like reinforced concrete, where those steel bars run through the concrete and actually provide tension holding the whole thing together, that's much the same way that wood is made up. So the cellulose and the lignin combined create a very, very strong material. Now, if you have a look here on this piece of wood, the sapwood has begun to rot. The heartwood is sound, but the sapwood has begun to rot. And you can see it just peels away very, very easily here. And this, this is actually a, a very good example of how um, you're left with this fibrous, uh, soft material. Now this is what we call a white rot. A white rot is where that lignin like the concrete has rotted away and left this fibrous, uh, flexible material, which has no solidity to it. It's got no, uh, nothing that would take a shape. You wouldn't be able to form this very well. And over time, if you were to carve something from the sapwood of oak, for instance, it wouldn't take very long before it starts to degrade to the point where it falls apart. So. This is one of the reasons why in my carvings I tend to remove the sapwood and only use the heartwood. The other major type of rot in trees you'll find is what we call a brown rot. So we've talked about a white rot and the white rot is where the lignin rots away and leaves the cellulose so you're ending up with a very mushy kind of substance. Now brown rot is completely the opposite. A brown rot is where the cellulose has rotted away and left the lignin so you're left with a very biscuity crumbly kind of texture. We've got a little bit going on in this old branch wound on this piece of oak here and you can see that uh, let's see if we can uh, get close enough to that it's a very kind of crumbly you end up with uh, yeah almost crumbs it's a very very different texture to um, the the white rot it's much more of a biscuit and biscuit rot is actually one of the other terms for a brown rot 
So I hope this has been an informative video for you. There's much more to come in the series All About Wood.